And then, mathematically, that's kind of like uh, some way for us to understand this effect. Again, we are plotting what? XP for composition, solute uh, concentration, versus, of course, I mean uh, the Fx. Our location, put another way, the fraction of conversion f for fraction of conversion for solid so the left side is what solid the right side would be liquid okay the first bit of solid formed is still that uh, composition kx0 make sense and then right at the interface i have a sudden change in what right at the interface i have a sudden change in Composition, right? XL for liquid on the other side, XS for solid, and XS and XL are related by that factor K, which describes the difference in slope. Make sense? That's what we have. This kind of location or fraction, conversion fraction, left side solid, right side liquid. Make sense? The first bit gradually gets richer, step up. Why does there's a sudden change here? Because I'm going from solid into liquid. Liquid, the concentration is flat because I'm assuming stirring within the liquid, uniform concentration. The solid would have a slight slope because no diffusion in solid. There will be change in concentration in solid, okay? So let's define a few terms xl as we said liquid uh, composition is uniform make sense xs solid composition but only at the interface make sense and then fs the total so-called weight fraction if we as assume no change in density it's essentially also that the length the total weight fraction, F for fraction, weight fraction for what? S for solid, make sense? And then FL would be the total weight fraction L for what? Liquid. And FS plus FL, the fraction of solid plus the fraction of liquid adds up to what? One. So FL would be one minus Fs. Make sense? Fl, the fraction of liquid would be 1 minus the solid. Okay? So, we are doing solidification. We are doing solidification. The black line represents the initial. And the solidification, do you see if after a little bit of temperature change, a little bit of time change, I go from the solid line into the dashed line. Make sense? Or dotted line. The initial interface is where? Here, right? And after a little bit more solidification, the interface moves towards right a little bit because the solid increase or decrease a little bit? Increase, right? Make sense? Because we are doing solidification, the solid increase a little bit. Move, the interface moved from here to here. Make sense? And in this process, in this process, ds, dfs, d for small change, fs is the solid weight fraction. dfs means what? A small increase in what? Solid fraction. Because F is solid is fraction. Fs for solid fraction. Dfs is small increase in solid fraction due to what? Continued solidification. Well, initially here, we cool it down a little bit. We wait for a little bit longer. The system the interface move from here to here, which means Initially FS, now I'm at FS plus DFS. Make sense? And at the same time, 
remember, we are doing this alloy. There will be some change in what? Liquid XL for composition. We call it the DXL. X for composition. XL is the solute concentration in the L for liquid phase. D for the small increase. A small increase in liquid composition. Remember the lines going down. Small increase in liquid composition due to the solute diffusion from here to here. Movement from solid into the liquid. You see that? The interface moves a little bit. This part is initially what? Solid or liquid? Initially, it's remember, it's initially liquid. But after transformation, this part becomes solid. The so concentration has to decrease from here, within the liquid, to here. Where does this solute go? Remember, that solute has to go into the liquid to make the liquid slightly what? Richer in solute. Make sense? So that's kind of like uh, the, the balance of mass. The solute atom in this region, initially liquid, becomes solid. That solute has to go to here, remaining of the liquid, to make the remaining of the liquid a little bit richer. Make sense? I'm pointing here, this red region. Initially, where's my interface? The solid dashed line. Interface between what? Solid on the left and the liquid on the right. Initially, I'm liquid roughly here. Make sense? And what's my composition if I'm liquid? initially here or here initially liquid it should be xl right here but then once the transform happened for this part to become solid what's my composition solid has to be here make sense so where does that solute go it got so-called rejected or throw into the remaining repeat with me rejected or throw into the remaining what liquid to make the remaining liquid higher in concentration make sense richer in solute so now let's think of the balance we are going to write something like this started does it make sense xl minus xs what is that that's a change in local concentration from initially liquid to final solid times the increase in fraction. This essentially this area equals what? One minus XS. From here to here, what is that what is that? It's essentially roughly if from here to here is FS. From here to here it's one minus FS. Or F liquid. Make sense? F liquid times what? Initial composition is what's the initial liquid composition? XL, but I'm I got a little bit more throwing in or so-called rejected solute. That makes my composition from XL to XL plus D XL. So the liquid fraction one minus FS times that data. Make sense? That's just this equation. Okay. And then, of course, we are going to do a little bit of mathematical manipulation. From this guy to here, what did I do? I keep D, FS, I move 1 minus FS, right? You see here, put that into the denominator equals DXL divided by the difference in composition between liquid and solid. Make sense? Okay. And then, remember, we are assuming a simplified phase diagram. We have a linear relationship between what and what? 
xs and xl makes sense that's that two slope that two slope with the has kind of a linear relationship k a constant between xs over xl if we consider this k value then it means whatever i have this xl i can replace xl by what xl i can replace by ks xs divided by k make sense xl in here i can replace xl here by xs divided by k make sense and then of course i didn't go into the detail dfs from this equation dfl would equals to what if i take a differential on the left dfl would be equal to minus dfs so that's where this guy come from dfs now i become df minus dfl and one minus fs one minus fs is the same as what one minus fs is the same as fl so that's my left side make sense and then on the right side okay i'm changing everything we can rearrange to get something like this xl now i rewrite as dxs and uh, one my one over k we keep it here that's for this one okay and then we can do so-called integration the left side integration only depends on what left side has only one term which is fl right side only has another variable which is xs i can do this integration and consider one so-called uh, boundary condition when fs is zero what is that i have zero solid forming my xs is k times x zero when i put this in i can have this equation it tells us what xs for solid composition solid composition where well, right at the what interface interface depend on k x0 do you know you are x0 if you have a given system you know right given a phase diagram you already also know what k and the one minus f s bracket to the power of one minus k so that's kind of okay you can have a analytical description of the local composition depending on the solid uh, fraction okay or put in we can also have related xl the liquid composition is related to this one okay so this is kind of okay if, if we have such a system if we make certain assumptions no diffusion in solid uniform within liquid linear relationship between the phase boundary then we can mathematically analytically derive a so-called simple relationship that describe our local composition local composition right at the interface depending on how much solidification it happens okay here of course we don't exactly go into the further detail of math mathematics but you can do it yourself going from here to here should be simple and from here integration should also be simple okay and the implication would be implication would be the system would always contain some so-called eutectic structure the system would always contain some eutectic structure as the fl goes smaller this term would go typically as fl less and less liquid k 
as we mentioned, is greater than 1 or smaller than 1. As we mentioned, remember the two line, k is smaller than 1, which means 1 minus k is positive, right? So I have I, FL goes towards 0, which means I have less and less amount of liquid. What happens to this XL? It will keep increasing until it reaches what? Until it reaches so-called eutectic composition. And at that moment, the liquid composition can no longer increase. And then at that moment, the liquid composition will change into eutectic uh, reaction, liquid into solid. Okay? So that's kind of okay. Why for such a system? If it's eutectic system, it will always reach eutectic temperature, reach eutectic composition. Okay?